Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Hendrik from Flip Futures. Uh, is it loud and clear? Can you all hear my voice? If yes, can you please type it in the chat box? Or if uh, Sharin, can, can you hear me well? The topic of today uh, is trading strategy with chart pattern. Uh, for those who are new to uh, trading, or for those who are new to technical analysis, I think uh, I will keep it simple. Um, I believe some of you might attend the webinar from Simon, talk about fundamental of FX and CFD. Today is, is more on the uh, technical analysis. So, okay, let's do it. All right, so uh, this is a standard disclaimer. Whatever I'm sharing today is purely for educational purpose. Uh, it does not really constitute any trading advice. Uh, sorry, before I start to share about the agenda today, uh, feel free to ask any questions if you have anything uh, in the question box. I will try to answer uh, whenever I see the questions, so make it more interactive. Um, yep, so I shall continue. Sorry, uh, let me zoom in again, my chart. All right, um, so the agenda today, uh, firstly, we understand the basis of technical analysis. So the first three is more on the charting. The second is uh, to learn about support and resistance. How to, how to, how to identify the support and resistance and which one is the stronger one. Uh, next is the understanding the most profitable chart pattern. So how to really read and analyze using chart pattern. And next is very importantly uh, to understand the risk uh, involved in trading and uh, how to really manage your risk and some of the common mistakes uh, from a lot of traders or investors. And lastly, very important is the right trading mentality in my opinion. All right, so for, for those who are really new uh, and don't know what is technical analysis, so basically TA or technical analysis is like a weather forecast. So what it does was, you know, it's based on past or historical pattern uh, to forecast the future behavior. So for example, if you look at the news that tomorrow morning uh, forecast to be raining, but is it 100%? Not really. It does not result in absolute prediction. So it is just based on historical pattern and uh, analyze your and actually forecast the behavior. So it might not happen. So it's it's, it's likely to happen uh, based on the pattern. So this is similar to what we are doing today. So we are looking at the past pattern from uh, the chart to actually forecast the going forward what will happen. Um, I mean, just in case for, uh, some of you might not know how to read candlestick chart. So uh, candlestick is one of the most popular uh, chart type, uh, basically to record the movement of the price. So if you look at on the left, um, not sure if you can see my mouse pad. So you can see my, uh, my mouse cursor. So on the left, um, the bridge candlestick, um, I put it in green color. So if you can see, uh, let's take this as an example of Tesla share at $850. So this candle basically recording the price of one day movement. This is, let's say, let's take the example of day chart. So you record the opening price <clears throat> and from open, high and low and close. So, uh, for example, if this Tesla opened at, at fifty dollar, you know, came down eight hundred dollar, and went up all the way to nine hundred and closed at eight hundred and seventy five. All right. So, um, if you look at the body itself, right, is the open and close, and the shadow, uh, the leg, you know, the tail is actually the low price and the high price. Uh, is so for the bearish candle is the same, but just that the open and close is the opposite because the, the price went down is a bearish candle. So uh, the close will be on the bottom and the open is the, the one above. And that should be quite straightforward. 
So uh, if you were to look into this candlestick, uh, the first one on the left, so basically it tells you the open, low, high, and close. So by looking at this one day candle, uh, so we know that in, it could be in, on the, the middle line, you know, the open went down a little and went up all the way and closed slightly lower. And it can be another scenario on the right over here. Uh, the open price at the low went up all the way and came down all the way and eventually closed higher. So by looking at the first candle on the left, uh, if you look at day chart only, uh, for the scenario on the media, the middle one and the right one will be exactly the same. But if you zoom in into, like for example, one hour chart of 15 minutes, that's where you can see the, the pattern uh, inside the candle, the movement of the, the chart itself. All right, so uh, any questions, please feel free to just type into the chat box. So this is the example of Apple share. So uh, this is the from MT5. Um, so you can look at different chart. The red color over here is the bearish candle. Green color is the bearish one. So you can look at the, the blue, the green color one meaning the price went up. So if you look at um, some of the candle, like the reason on the right, the second on the right over here, if you can see my mouse, uh, this, uh, this one open and close almost at the same price. And um, then there's a tier high and low. So this is what we call doji. So doji basically um, simply means that based on theory, that market indecision. So there's no direction in the market. So if you see this candlestick pattern, um, it tells you that the market don't have any direction. So if the market is on a bullish from this pattern, uh, it signals that market terms it could be a possible reversal point or market terms, the, the, the trend get win, uh, weaker. All right, so this is where you can look out for trading opportunity. But today we are, I'm not going to cover more about candlestick pattern. Uh, I don't have uh, so much time. So that's why we focus on chart pattern, which I think is more powerful uh, compared to candlestick pattern. All right, so um, for TA, so this is what we are going to cover today. Uh, the first one is uh, how, how to identify a trend. It's very, very easy uh, in two minutes time, which we can actually know how to identify a trend. So look at this chart, right? Uh, I believe most of you uh, looking at this chart, you can actually tell that this is an uptrend uh, chart, right? So it's quite straightforward. But uh, if to put it into some definition, we can look at the the low price of the chart getting higher, right? So uh, what we call higher low and the low price of the chart getting higher as well. So we call higher high. So we, we look at this higher low and higher high, then uh, we can confirm that this is an uptrend chart. So um, my strategy I'm going to share today, right? Is a trend follower strategy. So um, if the trend is up, we try to buy on the dip, so we, we will not sell if there's a sell opportunity. So we will follow the trend. So the next example over here, dollar sing. Um, same thing. If you look at the high price getting lower, right, and the uh, low price getting lower as well. So this is an uptrend. Uh, sorry, this is an this is a downtrend chart. But if you look at this for those who who read indicator, right, uh, these three lines are moving averages. So moving averages is actually a trend follower indicators. So whenever the mouse, sorry, whenever the charts, if you look at candle are below the lines, meaning market is on the downtrend. All right, so if we look at the, again, let me, if the lines are above candle or the candle below the lines, market is on the downtrend. So we look for sell opportunity, all right? This should be quite straightforward. All right, the next will be support and resistance. This is uh, very basic, but it's very important to understand. Um, so how to define support and resistance over here? If you look at this chart, um, if the price keep testing the low, you know, it cannot break, we can draw a line. If we, we set it as a support line. And the resistance is 
the, the, the other direction. So the price cannot break uh, the high. Uh, we can draw a line with coin resistance. So this is very important. Um, for, from this strategy, we always buy support and sell resistance. Uh, so if without drawing the line, you could have you know bought on the resistance and sell on support level. So support resistance level is very important. Uh, whenever you hit support level, price actually uh, rebound. This simply means that there are more buyer uh, than seller. It's not really more buyer. I would say buyer are more aggressive. So meaning this is a very good level that you know as a buyer I think I should buy. You know, uh, and there are a lot of opportunity. So price, whenever hit this level, a lot of buyers come and buy. So that's why the the price of this this uh, counter is being supported. So resistance is the same thing, you know. This is a good price to sell. You know, I want to take profit over here. So a lot of sellers doing the same. So this is a, a strong resistance that cannot be broken. So it's very important to understand support and resistance. So whenever you 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 pick up a, a chart, so please draw support and resistance. And importantly, this support and resistance you have to draw from the bigger time frame. Um, for example, day chart or week chart. Or even, I mean, the shorter one probably about four hours. So the bigger the time frame, the stronger the support and resistance are. Uh, and one thing to highlight is that if the support level, let's say this support level is broken, what happened is that um, it's the change of the trend. You see, so if the support level broken and the same level, it will become a resistance. So this is an opportunity for you to short. Uh, I mean, just in case you are not familiar what is futures or CFD or, or Forex. So um, these are the contracts that we can do short selling. So if the price, there's an opportunity uh, that the price may come down. That's where you can do short selling. But of course, if you do short selling, the price went up. Uh, the reverse is true that you'll be losing money. But uh, trading Forex and CFD give, giving you the flexibility to do both directions. So this is very important. Uh, if you learn about TA, I think this is very useful. Same goes for uh, resistance. If the resistance level is broken, the same level will become a support level. So this is an, a, a buy opportunity. So if you look at most of the time, the, the level broken, right? There will be a retracement or technical rebound for you to, to enter the market. So this is just an example, you know, uh, if you're looking at the chart, then you can draw support and resistance. A uh, few ways that I mentioned, you can look at the few times, few attempts that cannot be broken, you can draw. The other one is the previous low and high. You can always draw support and resistance. So if the, the level is not broken, it's a buy opportunity, for example. All right, so support and resistance is very important. All right, next, I'm going to share about trend line. Uh, Feel free to ask if you have any questions. If I'm speaking too fast, uh, you can actually uh, comment in the box as well. All right, trend, trend line is similar to support and resistance, but it's, it's not horizontal, it's diagonal. Uh, same thing over here, the longer the duration of the trend, the, strong, the stronger the trend. Uh, how to draw trend lines is very important and very easy. So we just use the low price, the higher low price. First and second, you draw a line. The third one is the confirmation of the trend line. Same goes for downtrend. The first high price and second high price, you can draw. The third one is confirmation. So let's look at the example. So this is a crude palm oil futures contract. So if you look at the first uh, low price and the second low price, uh, without looking at the back, you can draw this line already. The third one is for confirmation. So you can see this is all support intact over here. And the support broken right, it, be, it became a resistance. The price came down. And the other example, Euro dollar, same thing, you know, the first, sorry, just to uh, mention again. So the, the other line over here uh, is a parallel of the line. So some traders will do this or so instead of trend line, they call it channel, uptrend channel. So this is a parallel uh, of the, the same angle. So this is also some of the indication that uh, if you were too long, is where 
the selling pressure will come so you can take profit before the trend line, the parallel line. So next is the downtrend uh, from Euro dollar. If you look at the up, the, the first high price and the second high price, you can draw, then the one is for confirmation. So this is these are all resistance level. So if you look at the price of the resistance level broken, it becomes a support level. So same thing, the below one over here is the parallel from the trend line. So we make it a, a, a channel, all right? And next is the chart pattern. This is uh, something very important to learn. Um, a lot of different patterns. The first one, one well, of the most popular one, if you read some of the articles or, or news, if they share about technical analysis, I think this is one of the most popular ones, uh, head and shoulder. This pattern is similar to your left shoulder, your head, and right shoulder, right? And there's a neckline. The good thing about using chart pattern is that there is always a projected level. So um, some of the indicators that you may have learned previously, they don't give you much level where should you exit. So probably they tell you where should you entry. All right, but this one is that if you from this pattern, uh, there's the projected level where you should take profit. So entry is important, but exit is equally important. All right. So uh, same thing, head and shoulder, neckline broken. So this act like a resistant level, you see? Broken, rebound is the opportunity for the short. Let's look at an example. This is a dollar yen, uh, head and shoulder. It's very big, I believe you all can see. It's over here on the left. So you can see left shoulder, head and right shoulder. And there's a support line or neckline. This is broken, it's an opportunity to short. And rebound over here is still a resistance level. It's still another opportunity for to short. All right, this is head and shoulder. So a lot of different patterns over here. I'll just pick up a number of them. Uh, the next one I'm going to share here is double top and double bottom. Double top, if you see this pattern is similar like an M from the chart. And double bottom is like a W. All right. Uh, same thing, there's, um, there's a project level for you if you were to tap profit over here. Uh, one more thing to highlight, um, I think pardon, I didn't highlight that previously is that if you, the good thing about buying on the support and resistance, right? The stop loss level should be very near, all right? Uh, and the potential profit is much higher. So this is very important. The risk and reward ratio, which I will share later. So this is the, sub, the, the one I mentioned, double top, double top bottom. So this is the example of that double top on dollar Swiss. All right, so if you look at this one, right? Um, there's a very big pattern over here. Uh, there's, uh, there's, N, there's an M over here, so it's double top. Double top over here, once net line is broken, it's a sell opportunity. If you look at uh, the profit taking level, it should be about one to one over here. From over here, if you look at this uh, theory over here, uh, this is the project level. So similar to over here. So if you were to shot over here, so you know that your profit is somewhere here. So this is the good thing about using chart pattern for a trading. So this one, another example, double bottom for Hang Seng, index futures. So you can see uh, this is a double bottom form, uh, resistant line broken. And uh, the bigger the pattern, always the stronger the trend. Next, uh, triangles. There are different type of triangles. There's symmetrical triangle, there's ascending, descending. All right, over here, not sure if you all can see the triangle pattern here. Uh, from my experience, it took me a while for me to just use you know, a few seconds to identify patterns. So it's always required of practice. So you need to, to look at more charts, draw more charts. Then you can, you can look at pattern more easily. So over here, if you haven't, Identify is over here in the middle. So there's a triangle pattern form. So go back to the first thing I mentioned about TA is to identify a trend. So from this one, we can see that it's higher, low, higher, high. We know that market is on the uptrend and it forms a triangle and the breakout is the trading opportunity. So if you were to long, 
about the same size is where you should take profit. All right, so this is the triangle pattern. Next is the rectangle pattern. So there are bullish rectangle, various triangle, uh, rectang rectangle pattern. Um, again, like I mentioned just now, the bigger the pattern, right, is the bigger or the stronger the trend. So you look at this one, it's very, very strong. Um, it's very big pattern for the rectangle for the gold. This is many years ago. So it took about two years to form this rectangle and broken. So once it's broken, right? So it, um, it's very bearish and the price rebound doesn't find over here. Uh, it's also a good opportunity to short. So you can sell over here uh, because uh, it's, it's a rectangle pattern. Risk resistant over here. Once it rebound, it hit over here is the resistant level for you to short. So the chart pattern I've mentioned, uh, I've shared just now is head and shoulder and some other patterns. So over here, then there are much more patterns available in the market. If you do a Google search, there's, you know, there's a lot more. There's flag and pin, uh, there are cup and handle and so on. So whatever pattern, you just look, look to look at the breakdown and on uh, the trading opportunity. And lastly, very important to combine everything that I've shared so far. Uh, to form as a trading setup. So um, I have shared how to identify a trend, define a trend, look at day or even week. So I know we will know that market is on uptrend and downtrend. All right, next, uh, importantly, we need to draw support and resistance level uh, from day to hourly chart. Again, like I mentioned, the, the bigger time frame uh, actually represent a stronger support and resistance level. Next, we'll be looking trading opportunity. And the other one is trading entry pattern. So these two from my sharing today, um, I cover more on chart pattern. So you know about candlestick. So look for trading opportunity is that uh, if you look at this three and number three and four over here, it's exactly the same chart pattern and candlestick pattern. So, so the only difference is that uh, the different time frame. So it depends on which product you are trading or you, you plan to trade. So uh, take it for example, if you're trading Forex, for example, you look at trading opportunity, you will be looking at 15 minutes and look for entry. Sometimes you look one minute or five minutes, depends how active the market is. So uh, entry pattern should be using the smallest time frame because if you're using bigger time frame, the price could have gone if you wait for the pattern to form. So this is very important. The next is very importantly to understand uh, where is your stop loss. You know, trading, you will have to control the downside. All right. And next will be the tentative profit taking level. So it's always important if you enter a trade, right? Firstly, you, you need to know what's the downside, what is the maximum loss of this trade. And next, equally important is that how where is your profit target? This is very important because if you don't have either level, if you don't have stop loss, meaning you could have made a lot of losses from just one trade. But if you're not at profit taking level, uh, you, you will not know your risk and reward ratio. So if, let's say your stop loss is $100, but your profit taking level is only $20. So if you make one losses of your trade, you need five profit trades to just break even. So the risk and reward ratio is, is very important. I would say is at least you need to have one to one. The best is one to two or even higher. It's meaning you, you have $100 loss, you can $100 profit level. Of course, the higher the better, but importantly, must be realistic. You can have a very high level, stop loss, stop loss level, $100, have profit 1,000, but the, the price might not move against, um, the price might not move to hit $1,000 level. So importantly, be realistic as well. And lastly, very important is backup plan. Uh, if market goes against the strategy. So uh, this bring back to the, the topic that I just shared at, at the beginning. You know, TA is like a weather forecast. It is not 100%. So based on the past historical pattern, what is likely to happen? So this is a strategy. Uh, I think this is something like if you were to go for a trip, 
I think uh, I understand that this audience today, right? A lot of them, a lot of you are really very young. So I believe some of you might like to go team park. So if you go team park, the first thing you might be doing, the outdoor one, you'll be checking weather forecast. So if let's say the, the next day, the weather forecast is, is good, you know, it's sunny day, but it's not 100%. So if you were to bring a just rain coat and stand by, this is what I'm talking about, the backup plan. So even if it's raining, so you're actually covered, you know, you don't have to run and you know, just go and buy an umbrella or, or get a raincoat. So you have a backup plan in mind, you have the raincoat in your bed, just take it out, then you can use, you can still continue queuing for your ride. But without that, then you could be, uh, it could, you could be, um, don't know where to go, you know, you will be, you'll be messed up on your trade strategy. So same go to the trading strategy over here. So if you don't have backup plan, so you think that price should go up and you buy. Um, so if the price go down, that's where you could be losing your, uh, your trading plan, you know. So it's very important, importantly to stick to your plan. So if the price really were to go down, and what is a backup plan? Sometimes a good support level you buy and the level is being broken, it could be an opportunity for you to turn sell. So if the price goes down further, you can actually make profit from the downtrend. So the backup plan over here is for you to understand and to be prepared that if the market goes against you, should you just cut loss or should you just turn your position? to actually make profit from the other chain. Yep, this is something that I want to highlight here. And one more thing I want to share over here is, uh, I think there are different names over here, crack and snack. So this simply means that the force breaking, it jumped with the, the one I mentioned, the backup plan over here. So sometimes we, we know that from the theory I shared just now, uh, we buy on the support level, all right? Support broken could be a sell opportunity. Let's say if you stop here, uh, the price can be up over here, so you you will be in loss, right? So from from this theory, you know, crack and snake, and other patterns over here, that's pretty simple, right? This is what we call force breaking, and force breaking support level is the best opportunity for you to long. So if you have shorted previously, and price broke up back the strong support level, that's where you should do the backup plan, where you cut your loss and turn your position to long. Then go to the other one. So if the resistance level broken, all right, and came back down, so it's the false breaking. So it's, this is where you sell, and stop loss is just above the previous high. So you have a minimum stop loss, but you have a much higher profit. So this is what we talk about risk and reward ratio. So this is very important. So when you see false breaking, is actually a good opportunity. Um, I'll actually take this example for uh, the Proponway futures for for the trading setup that I mentioned so from here the first thing if you look at the checklist the first thing what we need to do is to define the trend so the trend over here look at the high getting lower and low getting lower as well right so we know that it's downtrend so we look for short opportunity and uh, the next thing importantly is to draw support resistance level so you know where we only sell sell uh, resistance and buy support level so uh, if you look at the chart over here, right, uh, there's a strong resistance level and there's a force breaking up the resistance. So if you look at this pattern over here, it's a force breaking strong resistance, it's short opportunity. This is the day chart and the price came down. But if you were to trade, right, you need to have this one. If you look at them, um, look, looking back to the trading setup, you need to have different uh, look at number three, number four. Number two is the plot support resistance that I did. But if you do trade, you must look at the trading opportunity and um, entry pattern in a shorter time frame. That's why when you see opportunity, you zoom in. So in this case, I zoom into one hour, right? This is the triangle pattern over here, the day chart. I zoom into one hour. So from here, you can look at over here, there's a pattern. There's a force breaking resistance level with a head and shoulder. The head and shoulder over here. It might not be so obvious that if you have just started learning about chart pattern, but this is one hour chart that I mentioned previously in the chat list where 
uh, this is for you to identify the pattern. But the entry depends on the contract they are trading. Group Palmer Futures is not as, as active as FS contract. So five minutes contract is enough for you to do entry. So if you look at five minutes chart, right, you can see a clearer pattern of head and shoulder. It's clearer over here. The left shoulder, head and right shoulder, break out the support level, there is still a, a rebound for you to do a short, to short on this market. So that's where you can do uh, a trade. If you're looking back to the trading setup, number one, we look at the trends. Market is just now the example of Palmoin, market is downtrend, and I plot support and resistance level. And next opportunity and, and uh, entry, we use using one hour and five minutes. And Starbucks and tap profit, profit taking level and backup plan is very important as well. So over here, right? If you look at this pattern over here, same thing like I mentioned uh, on the theory. If you look at the, the force breaking in the pattern over here, so if you were to short here, the stop loss is above the 2250 over here, the previous side. So the profit taking level is much higher. You know, they are, you have a ratio from, from this pattern, I guess it's easily two times compared to the, the risk. So this is a good trade. So then what is the backup plan? Backup, backup plan, if market break it up over here, uh, then you cut loss. All right. So do post your questions in the box if you have any question until now. So one thing I want to highlight over here is the risk management and also the stop loss. Uh, this is very simple, very easy, but uh, in terms of execution, it's not easy. You know, cut your losses and let your profits run. Um, a lot of traders or investors they do the opposite, you know. Uh, look at their portfolio, let's say even shares market. Some of them, you know, they hold the loss counters and hoping that, hoping that the price recover and tap profits. So that's where they always hold for the losses and believe that the price will eventually go up. And you cut actually the profits. So when the profit goes up, they tap profits. So they actually doing the opposite. So importantly, Risk management and money management is that we always need to understand where should you cut loss and how do you let your profits run in, in order to, to actually make more consistent money in the long run. All right. So one thing I want to introduce today is trading stop, be it manual or, or using platform. Trading stop simply meaning that if you are in the profits, um, of course, you can do partial profit taking. You can take a, a few locks and hold the other. Either way, you can do a true stop. So you look at this example from, from the picture over here. So uh, imagine if, if I were to long at the low level over here, let's say I, I, I buy somewhere here. I buy somewhere breakout, all right? Break out the resistance level and I put a stop loss below the previous low. All right, so next, the price went up further and broke the next resistance level. So instead of taking profit, what I can do, right? I switch my stop loss on the blue color over here, move up. Same thing, price broke up again. I move my stop again. Again, broke the previous high again. I can put my stop loss from here to here. So eventually, if the price reverse, or uh, the, the contract, the chart, the trend reverse, right? You get stop up over here. All right, so you have, you can actually take the profit for the whole trend. Instead of if you're if you long somewhere here, you take profit here. And some, the worst is sometimes you don't sell over here, eventually you have net losses. So doing that, right, by doing the trading stop, it actually give you uh, the concept and the mindset of cut your losses and lay your profits run. Either way is that you, if you have multiple locks, and the good thing about MT5 right now uh, is that you can do a uh, smaller size. You can do 0 0.1 or 0 0.01. So that's where you can do smaller trade. If you take profit, you can do you can take partial profits and let the partial profit run. So you can you can just earn the whole trend. All right. So. I'm going to share some of the common mistakes from my observation. 
So uh, do feel free to, to share your opinion as well. Uh, the common mistake that from my observation is that uh, this is for initial new position or to buy or to sell without a valid reason, meaning uh, I hear from my friends that this is a counter to buy or hear my friend that oh, the gold price, is, gold price is low, I should buy. So uh, this is dangerous because you don't know, you, you, have, you heard about the news, or you heard about your friends, but you don't know what exactly the level should you enter. You know, you don't have uh, uh, the risk management concept over here. You will not know, you will feel worried if you hold this contract or if you hold this, you feel buy this. Uh, next is news title. News basically is past, you know. Um, whatever price movement already happened, then you look the next day you look at news. So by looking at news might not be helpful for your trading. All right. And also the gut feel and perception. This put it simple is that sometimes uh, a lot of mindset of a trader is that uh, when the price went down 10%, they will think that a price sounds cheap, I should long. And price went up 10%, or oh, maybe I should sell because it's too expensive. So this is the gut feel and perception could be dangerous. So entry and exit, um, you can have your own strategy like I shared just now, uh, based on my, my, my some of the trading setup, based on the trend, uh, based on the pattern that I entry and this uh, the stop loss that type of it. So I, I, I won't feel uneasy if I hold the position. All right, uh, next is uh, slightly uh, for those who know about indicators, uh, solely rely on indicators can be dangerous. Uh, let me give an uh, example now. I will come back later. So if you look at this example, for those, in, for the benefit of those who have not heard about RSI over here, uh, RSI is a re relative strength index. All right, so um, to put it simple, is that if above RSI 70 level, is overbought. So uh, price should adjust and you should sell uh, the contract. And below 30% is oversold. That's where you should long based on theory. But for this case, if you are trading uh, Nikkei, if you sell based on RSI, if you look at this, RSI is super high. Overbought at 91, it's extremely overbought. But if you sold this, look at what happened. Price went up much higher. All right. So if you don't have stop loss, you don't have the risk control, risk management, your account could have go bust. So it's very important to understand um, it, the indicator as well. So this uh, RSI is price oscillator. It will be more useful when the market trading in a range. When market is on trend, right? It can be just overbought for a few days, even weeks. So uh, if you don't have any risk management, you just based on this, this can be very dangerous to your trading account. Next, one of the very popular indicators called moving average. Um, for those likely, uh, for those who have learned this moving average before, I, I'm sure you have heard about the crossover between the shorter time frame and the, the longer one. They, they call it um, the death cross and the golden cross. Golden cross is simply meaning the shorter time frame cross over the, the longer one and it's a buy signal or sub signal. So in this case, I put this example, this is soybean oil contract. So the shorter one cross the higher one, this is, this is based on theory moving average, this is a buy signal. In this case, you are buying the higher price then price go all the way down. And for this one, it happens again, a crossover down. You should sell based on theory. So if you sell, you sell at the low price, all right, and price rebound all the way. Same thing, it happened again, you long, sorry, you, you actually long at the highest price, then price came down. Again, you short over here, but the price went down. And lastly, crossover happened, and there's a block up happened, and you made, made money. But the thing is, after you're making the four consecutive losses trade, right? This you might have give you a miss. So it's very important to understand uh, when to use following average. Like I mentioned, this is a, this is the trend follower indicators. It will be accurate when market is 
in a train. So in this case, right, if you put in RSI, then could be useful. You can see overbought, then the sell opportunity, oversold is a buy opportunity. So it's very important to understand the indicator that you're using. Doesn't mean you have a lot of lines, it's good for you. So more lines or more indicators can confuse your decision making. So this is something that I want to highlight. But if you learn about today, what I shared, uh, we draw a simply resistance support level over here. So by right, you shouldn't buy the, the resistance level. You should buy the, the support level and sell resistance level. So a lot of pattern over here inside. Uh, if you look at this pattern, uh, you know, double bottom over here happen at the strong support level, then price can went up. So there are different patterns inside the charts, but just that we need to identify the pattern inside. All right. So go back to the common mistake over here. Oh, feel free to ask any question you have any in the question box. Um, sorry. Next is uh, with a targeted profit level, but without a stop loss. Like I mentioned, uh, risk management is, is extremely important. You can't just uh, put a tap profit level, but without a, the loss, stop loss level. So this is the perfect example of your cut your loss and let the profits run. And next is set profit level and stop loss based on purely based on tech size is something that I don't encourage um, because uh, you the entry as is very important. So if this trend can make you 100 ticks, why should you take five or five ticks or five ticks? So uh, it's very important to, to based on the technical chart to de define your stop loss center profit level instead of just based on tick size. Next, uh, when market goes again, your position. A lot of uh, traders from trader becomes an investor. Simply means that, you know, I, I don't want to cut loss. Uh, initially, my, my plan is you know, buy here. I want to take profit somewhere, you know, uh, $100, for example. But I have now having a 14 loss of $200. So they just, from trader become investor, they just buy and hold. So this actually, in a way that he or she doesn't have the trading plan, All right? So they don't have a stop loss. This is very important. This is worse. Average down by buying and selling more. Uh, this is uh, the one that I'm sharing today is on CFD, Forex, and Futures. It's a leverage contract. Uh, it's much higher risk compared to uh, stocks and unit trust. This is not unit trust. This is not dollar cost averaging. This is not encouraged. So if market goes against you, hit your stop loss level, just cut. You shouldn't just average down and average up. And next is the summer so autumn position aggressively. This is also quite dangerous if you uh, cut, uh, if your price go against you, quickly don't sell or buy, right? You will actually get emotional easily if you were in the market. If you trade, you can understand the feeling. So you'll get more emotional. You would, the decision you make is based on emotion. It's not rational. It's not based on your trading strategy anymore. So this one, take note. And lastly, when market is in your favor. So this is also very important. Uh, how to do asset, how to take profit is also an art. How to do uh, when market is in your favor. So take profit based on tick size. Come back to this. I don't think, personally, I don't think it's a good strategy. Uh, you just, you might not be able to take profit based on the full potential. Lastly, same thing, take profit and turn position immediately. This one also quite dangerous. Market can be a full train, a uh, full up train, but you just capture a, uh, a portion uh, and in turn position, price can just go up further. So your profit become lost. So these are the things that I think uh, for my observation is very important. I want to highlight to you guys. Uh, when you open a position and when you are in the profit or you are in the loss, what should you do? All right, or what should you not do? I think hopefully this, is, uh, uh, this can be helpful for your on trading next time. Okay, these two I have shared. Uh, trading checklist, um, you know, just now I shared the trading setup. Um, this is also a checklist to me. Uh, I remember attending a Bloomberg event where one of the speakers shared, I think it's quite, quite interesting. The most important, he, uh, he asked a question to the audience, you know, uh, the most important thing 
have you have any of the the audience you know tried fly an airplane and he asked you know what is the most important thing if you were to become a pilot you know it is not so much about your experience you know how your reaction when uh, you know things happen is the checklist over here uh, before you, you start taking off your plane the most important thing is you check everything is in the order you know the engine is in order everything is in order before you even taking off from the ground so come back to trading you know do you have a trading checklist before you start trading before you place a trade do you have a checklist so this is very important it's similar to if you're a pilot today because you know the flying airplane is so important that's why you do uh, you think that it's very important you do whatever challenge you have you follow but trading uh, how many of you actually doing a checklist all right so this is very important if you take this seriously you should do a checklist and follow your checklist before you enter a trade enter a bad trade you can't manage the trade well because the entry is bad you see so that's why i come back to this list over here to have a checklist over here first define the trend before i enter the trade market is it uptrend or downtrend market uptrend i try to long and not short like for example um I, i'm sure you you read news about bitcoin and cryptocurrency market has been bullish you know for the past many months past few weeks and months from 20,000 to 50,000 market is on the uptrend so if you were to trade let's follow the trend friend is your trend is your friend if you do if you short at the market so you can see for 20,000 become 50,000 how much is your potential loss but if you follow trends so that's your opportunity so this is something that I want to highlight follow the trend and you can you can read much more uh, potential return and next is to plot support and resistance. Importantly, we buy support and sell resistance. Look for trading opportunity and entry pattern. Depends on the contract that you are trading with. Entry pattern is very important because I need to zoom in to let's say one minute and five minutes to have a to time better entry. Because if you look at 15 minutes or one hour to entry, when the pattern form, price could have gone uh, from 2%. So the the stop loss and take profit might not be making sense anymore all right next is the to define your stop loss and take profit level the tentative profit taking level is it a good stop loss uh is it within your uh risk appetite that's one and uh the risk the, the profit taking level is it greater than your stop loss uh, my opinion is at least one to one so let's say your stop loss is 100 dollar, profit taking is 100 dollar. And lastly, backup plan. So if market go against you, what should you do? All right. Lastly, um, is the right trading mentality. Uh, this is in my opinion. It's very important to, to take trading uh, futures, forex, CFD, or stocks, any other investment as a business. So if you were to do a business, what will you do? You have a business plan. You have a, a strategy, what to do, which product, and which location I want to open up my business. So you have a strategy, you have a business plan, but your trading investment, do you have a trading plan? So that's very important, all right? So have a good business plan or trading plan. And uh, attending good trading course, that's, this can be helpful. Otherwise you could be paying tuition fee in the market. Uh, alternatively, now you can just easily Google some of the articles, you know, some of the YouTube channel that you can subscribe for good courses. All right. Then you can learn from the strategy. There's no holy group. So there are different strategies out there, just that which one is more suitable to you. And next, understand yourself and be disciplined. This is very important. Understand yourself is the most important. So Forex CFD trading might not be suitable to everyone. And because this is a high risk product, do you want high risk and high return contract or do you prefer a 2% to 5% return yearly? So is, there's no right or wrong. It just depends on risk appetite. Uh, you, you don't want risk, you don't get good profit. You want higher risk, of course, you 
potentially you can make good profits. All right, so this is very important. Understand yourself and be disciplined. Follow back the trading checklist. All right. And uh, once you have trading strategy, it's always good to do back testing uh, using different uh, powder or different products to, to look at this strategy. Does it work based on past historical chart? All right. And next is you can do mock trading. You can do pepper trading, which is forward testing. Uh, I, I, I heard that, you know, I uh, understand that Flip Futures, we are launching this uh, trading challenge as a demo trading challenge. This was the, the best time for you to, to do mock trading, uh, to do serious trading, because I think there are price uh, to be won. I will share more about the, the detail later. And uh, next, once you are ready from, you can make some profits, uh, you can understand a bit of the, you are comfortable for your trading strategy, you, sh you can start trading with live money. All right. Uh, if you are more comfortable already, then you should start trading because, uh, you know, you trade on the live market with your money in your pocket is totally different feeling from the demo. If you trade demo or paper trading, there's no emotion involved. But once it's in your, the money in your pocket, in your bank account, it's totally different. All right, that's where your emotion kicks in. So this is very important to get yourself started one day. All right, but you can start from small. The good thing about MT5, you can you can trade as low as 0.01, you know, just one hundred one thousand uh, dollar nocturnal value, and uh, some of the CFD contract is very small as well. And fine tune your trading method. So this uh, you can always improve your trading strategy. Uh, some you make losses. The best is if you can have a journal, you know, you write down today I, I, I long or short over here and the reason and I made profits and why. And I, I got stop loss and why. I made profit, I could have made more and reason. So that's where you can improve. Uh, this is how you can find human trading method and become better and better in future. And uh, lastly, I think it's very important, um, you know, trading sometimes can be lonely. If you do trading, you, you need someone to share. Sometimes uh, you also need somebody to tell you that you are actually, hey bro, you are actually emotional now, right? Uh, this is the market uptrend, why did you short? So if you have same trading method, we can have discussion. Before I enter a trade, I can check with my friend, you know, uh, hey, I, I, I saw this trading setup, uh, what do you think? So you can get one more opinion. If you have having the same trading method, I think this is extremely helpful. But that's why I highlight over here, same trading method. But if you are having different trading method, this does not make sense at all. Like the case just now, one is the RSI trader, the other one is a moving array trader, one trend follower, one range trading, they will have different trading method at all. So the opinion will be, to be totally different. So it's important, trading with a group, make sure it's the same trading method. So you will have better understanding and you can give each other comment uh, more effectively. All right, so I think um, I have shared the content for today. Um, let me see if there's any question. Uh, okay, so before I answer question, let me just carry on uh, the, this one first. Uh, important is that I think I mentioned just now that there's this trading challenge uh, it's split MT5 virtually challenge. Uh, this will take place mid of March. Uh, please register now uh, using this QR code. You can just take out a smartphone, scan this QR code and register now. Uh, I think there are price to be won. The first price is $800 USD. This is the best chance or the best time for you to test out your strategy. Uh, it's demo account. There's no risk at all. You know, if you do it well, you can even get price. So don't don't just wait anymore. You just register now and get yourself uh, registered and you know test out your trading strategy. And there are a lot of price to be won. There are more information. You can just scan the QR code. Okay, next is the upcoming webinar that we have. Uh, coming one is uh, 8th of March. Please scan this QR code to register for this coming webinar. Um, I, I shared the trading strategy, but also very important that you need to master the tool. 
you know, you must know how to navigate MT5. MT5 is very powerful programming platform. And uh, Flip Futures, we offer different complementary tools. It's Auto Chartist, Trading Center, and Market Bus. And trading, some of the plugin like Auto Chartist, there's a risk management tool over there. So you can, before you enter a trade, you can use the trade, the, the risk management tool to identify the loss. Let's say I'm willing to loss $100. So how much lot size should I key in? So this has been uh, uh, actually enabled in the trading platform. So this is very powerful. I'm sure this will be helpful if you were uh, to trade uh, the demo challenge for yourself. All right, so please attend the coming this webinar. All right, uh, now let's move to Q&A. Give me a second. Let's look at the Q&A right now. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at the questions. What is the difference between the three lines? What makes a price stay as support and resistance? Okay, that's a good question. Let me go back to the, the slide from the support resistance. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this theory, right? So support and resistance, basically, um, there's no, of course, there's no, by theory, this is the support resistance level that you should buy and sell. Uh, but of course, price can go against. Uh, that's why if you look, look at the, the, the slide that I shared, there's a false breaking happened. All right. Uh, support resistance level is still very important because we can identify that there are more buyer and, and the, or, or the seller. They are more aggressively buying and selling. So we that's why we always buy at a support level and sell at the resistance level. So what makes the price stay at the support resistance level is simply meaning simply because of the perception from the buyer and seller. So uh, a lot of traders, some of the traders look at this price. Um, they want to buy at this level because they think that this is a good price. So more and more investors or traders buying at this price, even the in institutional traders or, or funds are buying this price. So this price is actually being supported. So that's why the price stay in the support level. And resistance is the same thing. So this level is where you should take profit. So if you see the resistant key resistance level broken and support level broken, right? Sometimes there's a news uh, for the particular quarter, for example. There's a change in management, things like that. So uh, but some a lot of times, if you were to notice, the price happened first before the announcement came. So this is where, importantly, we, we learn about the price action strategy from the technical chart. And okay, something another audience asking about the force fracking segment, right? Force fracking is over behind over here. So force fracking is by theory is quite straightforward. You know, there's uh, always a key support level and key resistance level. Uh, there's an attempt to break or is broken actually. But uh, in shorter time, within one day or within a few hours, the price came back all the way up. So this is what we identify as false breaking. So this is where a good opportunity for you to buy and sell. I hope that answers your question. And the other question is, do we have to look at the chart every second? Can we automate the process? Uh, you don't have to monitor every second. So it depends on the trading strategy. Um, if you are the one that I shared the trading challenge today, right, it's more like a string trading. So if you are in the profits, right, you you tend to be holding your position for a couple of days. Um, yeah. So you don't have to monitor every seconds, every minute. So you just let it run. If you have a stop loss and profit taking level being key in, right, just wait uh, for it happen. All right. And for the trading stop. Uh, I think there are two more questions. But for the trading stop, which time frame do we use to see the support level? It's a good question. Um, is the it depends on your trading strategy. If you're looking at my strategy over here, uh, if you're looking more meaningful trading pattern to chew your stop loss, you look at the hourly support and resistance. So our support resistance is broken, then you you actually move your stop loss. But if the day one broken is even much better, 
meaning that the, the trend is really strong, uh, you should hold your position. But hourly is more uh, realistic um, level for you to do trail stop, in my opinion. Um, okay, so, so last two questions that I have. Uh, is technical analysis usually used only for short-term trading? It depends, you see. Um, for this, the one I share is swing trading. You can do longer trading using TA as well. So for, for here, uh, over here, right, the trend and the entry exit is based on, you know, like I mean, I mentioned the day, trend is day, support resistance from day to hour, opportunity and pat entry pattern is from minutes, all right, or hour. So if you were to do long, long, longer term trading using TA, right, basically you just need to use bigger time frame. So the entry pattern here is no longer 15 or five minutes. You're looking at one day to enter. So that's where you can do long, long term trading using uh, technical. But of course, if you long use day chart or for an entry better meaning your stop loss and type of it is gonna be very, very far. All right. I hope this answers your question. I hope I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. All right. And lastly, yes, uh, this uh, this rec this webinar is recording. Um, so you can just watch back. Uh, I guess this this webinar will be uploaded to YouTube. And, and website as well. So you can just feel free to, to watch it back. Uh, when you do a demo trading, you can just watch it. Uh, if you forget certain points, if you forget my checklist, you can just take a look. Yep. Uh, I think that's all for the presentation today. Uh, I, yep. I think thank you so much for your time uh, for today. Uh, I think it's about eight o'clock. I, if no further questions, I think we will just end for today. Thank you so much for your time and have a good evening and happy new year to everyone. Thank you so much. We shall end the webinar now.